Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Spot VM or preemptable VMs in Google Cloud. So this concept of Spot VM or Spot Instance is similar in all the cloud. So it is in the Google Cloud, it is in AWS, it is in Azure Cloud. So we are going to discuss this as it is important part of the certifications exam as well. And also if you are working as an architect and you have focus to save a cost, so the spot VMs or preemptable VMs are important concept here. Okay, so let's try to understand why the spot VMs are very famous and why this can be used to save your cost. Okay, so let's first try to understand what is a spot VM. Spot VM in Google Cloud is discounted virtual machine that leverage unused compute capacity, which are cheaper up to 91% compared to standard VM. Okay, so let's try to understand this. Okay. So whenever we are using the spot VM, the price of spot VM is 91% up to 91% cheaper than your standard VM. So let's take an example. If you are paying $100 per month for your standard VM, cost for spot VM can be to $10 per month. Okay. So this price is varying here for spot VM, but the pricing is almost 60 to 90% cheaper than your standard VM. Why these are cheaper? Because you can see these leverage unused compute capacity. So whenever you are creating the virtual machine, this virtual machine uses the Google Cloud infrastructure in the Google data center. So Google is having data centers in their each of the region. Okay, so let's take an example here. Okay, so this is US Central one region. And this data center is having capacity to let's say 100 virtual machines or 200 virtual machines or any numbers. It can be very huge number, but I'm just giving example for this explanation. So let's assume this data center is having capacity to host nine virtual machine. Okay, but now currently what happened? There are only eight virtual machines or VM instances on this data center hardware. Now there is one compute capacity is available here so that is unused capacity so instead of keeping this unused capacity idle what google do google just provide the cheaper rate and they can allocate your spot vm on this location or in this capacity so whenever you are using this capacity this is just cheaper but what is the drawback of this so whenever someone tries to create standard vm within this environment within this data center Google just disallocate your VM and it will provide capacity to the standard VM or other users which pays more here. So your VM can be terminated or preempted at any of the time. So that is the major drawback, drawback of this spot VM. But this can be used where you need fault tolerant workload. It means suppose you have to perform any task, you have to just create VM perform that task and then terminate VM. So that is your simple task. In that case, you can use a spot VM because if you are creating the standard VM for this task, you have to pay more. But if you are using the spot VM for search jobs, you have to pay a very less amount here. Okay, so hope you understood the spot VM here. Let's try to understand a few more details about this spot or preemptable VMs. So now let's discuss about what is preemptable or spot VM again. So preemptable VM and spot VMs are almost similar. So preemptable VM is an older version where spot VM is a newer version, the same concept. Only difference here is in your preemptable VM, you had limitation that you could run only for maximum 24 hours, but the spot VM is not having this limitation. So this is the main feature we already talked about that these are up to 91 to 90% cheaper compared to standard VMs. So this is cost effective. So whenever you are getting any question in exam related to the fault tolerant and cheaper workload or cost saving, you can go with this spot VM option if it is having, but just read the question carefully because it is a for fault tolerant workload. So as I said, this is designed for shorter workload where your workload can handle interruption because it can be interrupted at any of the time. So spot VMs flexible run as long as resources are available. So as I said in preemptable VM there was option or there was limitation to run only for maximum 24 hours. But in the spot VM that option is not there. So as I said it's ideal for batch processing, ML training, CICD pipelines and preemptable VMs. It is limit is maximum 24 hours. And recently these are replaced by 
spot vm so spot vm is the latest version of preemptible vms so common use cases fault tolerant application high throughput batch jobs and big data analytics so now let's see how we can create spot vm or preemptible vm so spot vm can be created using console gcloud command or through api so this is the command to create spot instance so you have to just give option provisioning model is equal to spot and the termination action okay and for preemptible vms now currently it is replaced by spot vm so you cannot create it using the console but you have a gcloud command create a preemptible vm now i'll just go to cloud console and show you how we can create it from the cloud console so i am on my cloud console now so i am on my home page so i'll just go to compute engine okay so i'll just click on the create instance and in the create instance i'll just select the default configuration initially so i'll just use the spot vm where we can define that we don't need a standard vm and we need a spot vm so just look at the cost as well okay so by default it is the standard vm cost you can see 25 dollar per month for this configuration now i'll not change the configuration or region so i'll just go to advanced okay and here i'll just scroll down and you can see the provisioning model currently it is standard if i choose a spot then just look at the pricing here currently it is 25 dollars now if i choose a spot you can see the pricing is 10 so it's vary between 50 to 90 percent okay if you change the region if you change the configuration if you change uh, the timing so everything it will vary between 50 to 90 percent but here also you can see it's much cheaper okay. so rest of the process is same you can just decide what should be the action on termination and if your preemptable vms or spot vm is getting terminated you can use a shutdown script to perform any action before terminating your instance so you can specify the timeout what should happen to your instance it should be stopped or it should be deleted so all these things you can mention here and simply create so similar way we can create the standard vm only we have to select the spot vm from the drop down so this is how we can create a spot vm okay now vm is created let's open the vm and you can see the warning here as soon as we open so spot vms may be terminated at any time so this instance is available till the time there are resources available on the compute infrastructure as soon as someone is tried to create the resource in the available infrastructure this will be terminated okay so that's how the spot vms works in google cloud so just remember two things these are much cheaper than your standard vm and second things second things can be used for fault tolerant workload where the termination will not impact your workload so that's it for this video and we'll see you in a further video